Under certain circumstances, you might be able to see benefits of assigning specific cores to your virtual machine. To decide which cores to assign, it might be helpful to install hwlock. So let's do that. sudo i become super user and apt install hwlock. Now we can run ls topo for topology and here we have Ryzen 5 1600 and we'll assign these cores. So here we have our physical cores and each one has two virtual cores. So we'll assign core 5, 6 and uh, 4, 5 and 6. So Let's close it and let's take a look at our virtual machine. So, versh vcpu info and win 10. Okay, so each of our virtual cores can be assigned to any of the physical cores, the virtual machine cores in this case. We can run versh edit win 10 and right here vcpu placement static what we can do the easiest way is to type in cpu set equals quotations and we'll assign core 6 to 11 end of quotations and let's save it and let's look at vcpu info now so now any core can be assigned to any of the last six cores of the host so here we limited the options but it's not one-to-one -one assignment if you want one-to-one -one core assignment let's go back to versh edit windows 10 and we will erase this and we will assign virtual machine core number one will be assigned to physical core or real life core number six uh, and number one to seven two to eight and so on so now if we save this and we run vcpu info we'll see that each core can only be assigned to one specific core so in this way we basically lock or pin our cores of our virtual machine in many cases this is not necessary and letting the host manage the course is sufficient for those of you who want to try it you know there is no harm in trying i would recommend comparing it to the results when the host manages it and when you pin it and choose the best option for you but uh, yeah that's uh, that would be the basics of core pinning thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video